In today's video, we've got another build to go over for the brand new 7-star Inteleon Terroid event that will be happening later this week in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yesterday on the channel, we covered up to nine builds that are going to be good for going into this new Inteleon Terroid event that will be happening later this week. The event itself will be kicking off on the 28th of April and running over the weekend until the 30th for the first phase of this brand new Inteleon 7-star Terroid event. And of course, like other 7-star Terroid, raids they are pretty difficult so you're going to need specific pokemon to go in and beat them like i say in our previous video we covered up to nine builds that are going to be able to go in and solo this pokemon but we have a new build today to go over which features samurott if you hadn't already guessed from the thumbnail that is going to be a great pokemon to take into this terror raid event to allow you to solo this pokemon pretty easily in your game now there are a few reasons why samurott is going to be very good going into this inteleon raid for one it is a water type pokemon Pokemon Sword is going to be able to resist the ice and the big water type attacks that we expect to come out from this Inteleon, the Snipe Shot, the Blizzards, etc. It's going to be able to resist those moves. It also has a flurry of good options offensively to deal with the Inteleon. It is an ice terror type, so one of the things that you're going to want to hit it with is super effective attacks, and Samurott gets access to those. So this is the initial build for the Samurott water typing. The terror typing on it is fighting. That is preferable. You can go with water, but for that extra damage, you're going to want to go for that fighting terror typing. The item of choice is Shell Bell. Of course, we need a line of recovery. And when we do big damage, we'll get health back. So it really helps us stay in the battle and make quick work of the Inteleon. The moveset that we're using for this specific Samurott is going to be Sword Stance, Screech, Razor Shell, and Brick Break. And just to make you aware as well, Screech is an egg move on Samurott. So you're going to have to find something in your boxes that has access to Screech screech and then remove a move from the samurai. You can easily do that by just pressing the A button and then forget a move. Once you've forgotten a move, put the Pokemon that you found with screech in your party alongside the samurai and then just attach a mirror herb item to the samurai, set up a picnic and then the screech will be transferred over to your samurai. You'll be able to get screech on it that way. The other thing is going to be brick break. That is a TM. So that is something that you're going to have to teach to samurai. If you wanted to go down with something like sacred sword, a little bit different you're gonna have to find a pokemon in your party with sacred sword that is another egg move so you could be have to teach it a bit like you have done the screech the other moves though sword stance and razor shell are learn moves so you're going to be able to just come in remember moves and the sword stance and the razor shell will be in this list for you to teach to your samurai with an ev spread of 252 attack 24 defense 228 special defense and then four in hp so it's not your standard ev spread but we will go into the specific details so you can get a better understanding of why we went for this EV spread in a moment. The ability is important, it is shell armor and it will prevent you from getting any critical hits throughout the battle. So if the Inteleon does have Snipe Shot or if it does have Air Cutter, you're not gonna be affected by that high critical hit chance that it does have. Inteleon doesn't get access to focus energy, which is a good thing going into this raid, so it can't boost those critical hit chances any further than they've already got. But you've got to expect those moves because of the high critical hit chance that they do carry with them, that they will land critical hits here and there throughout the raid battle. The nature that we've chosen for this Samurott is Adamant, just to maximize our damage output. So the basic premise of this moveset is to Screech primarily. You want to reduce the defense stat of the Inteleon as soon as you can. Just bear in mind when that shield goes up, you're not going to be able to use screech or lower the defenses anymore this is where razor shell comes in it has a 50 percent chance 10 every time you use it so this will work through the shield as well this is a nice fallback if you do want to reduce the defense stat any further throughout the battle and depending on how the inteleon approaches the raid when the shield goes up when it nullifies stats etc the next thing to do after getting at least one screech off is to start swords dancing and boost your own attack stats up you want to primarily try and get to about plus six so you using three sword stances and then you can start utilizing the brick break now the big thing here is that samurai does get access to sacred sword but if you combine that with screech it's not going to work sacred sword ignores all stat changes on the opposing target so screech is kind of a waste of a move whereas brick break can take advantage of that so this is the basic premise of the samurai and i'll show you with some damage calculations in a minute how this samurai fares up but like i say it has got the shell bell is adamant nature with that ev spread it will be down in the description if you want to take a closer look at it after the video to build 
build this for yourself and that is the move set now if we jump over to our damage calculator here you can get a good idea of how this samurai is going to perform in this raid so if we just go back non terrestrialized so we're just a water typing here you can see that with the shell armor the snipe shots doing 17 to 20 percent the blizzard obviously does 24 to 28 it's its most powerful attack here and the air cutter as well 17 to 20 because it's not very effective even acrobatics isn't really doing too much damage it's not doing enough just doing under a quarter health so you're going to be in a good position to start setting up in this raid you've got a lot of room to kind of get your screeches off get your sword stances up before you start attacking now on the face value of it you can see sacred sword here does more damage a little bit more damage than the brick break uh, but if you are able to get a screech off onto this intellion you can see that the brick break quickly overtakes damage output wise on the sacred sword because the sacred sword like i say doesn't get affected by any stat drops on the opposing pokemon if you can get this down to minus four even so two screeches off you're going to be doing a lot of damage and this isn't even terrestrialized yet uh, the EV spread, obviously, we've got the 252 in attack just to maximize damage here. But when we do terrestrialize, that 24 in defense is to just ensure that the acrobatics, if it is an option on this Inteleon, that it isn't doing more than 50%. So just under 50%, it will be a three hit KO. So it gives you a lot of room to do big damage with the brick break. You can see here, if we do get it down to plus four, we're doing massive damage. That's going to be like a four hit KO on this Inteleon. Obviously, if it is minus two, you're not going to be doing as much damage, but you're still going to be doing a respectable amount so even if you are only able to get it down to minus one with maybe a razor shell if that shield goes up early you're still going to be doing a lot more damage with the brick break than you would be the sacred sword that isn't affected by any defense drop so that is the reason primarily for using the brick break and you're not going to have to worry about any critical hits from anything coming out you're going to be able to even after you terrestrialize still take the snipe shot pretty well and the air cutter and with the damage that you're doing every turn with the brick break especially if you're on plus six you're going to be able to recover all of your health every turn so you're going to be in a good spot with the samurai and this is the reason for why we're using it going into this terror raid. now of course we don't know exactly what this intellion will be bringing into the raid how it will interact with nullifying stats putting a shield up etc all the support options that it does have access to and like i mentioned in our previous video there could be options on the intellion like taunt with haze as well well, which could be problematic for setting up in particular but all in all Samurai does have a very vast move pool then you could rely on something like maybe the sacred sword over the brick break the nice thing about brick break as well as the options of screens that we have mentioned as well on the intellion where the brick break will be able to break those screens and kind of cut through them get rid of those defense buffs and start doing some good damage pretty quickly the big thing about samurai is though it is going to be able to sit on the field for a long time and even be used as a supporting pokemon it gets access to things like helping hand which are pretty nice for partnering pokemon and of course if we do see something like taunt like haze we can always rely on that sacred sword is a big option for us to utilize damage wise on it if we can't set up but of course when the event goes live we will cover with all of the specifics that the intellion will be bringing into this terror raid and we will come back with the best pokemon to solo within game but if you want to prepare one pokemon check out our previous video and you can also utilize this samurai which i feel very confident looking at the damage calculations that this pokemon is going to be good no matter what the intellion goes into this raid with it doesn't have any access to grass type attacks and those flying type attacks that it could could threaten us with on star boosted so they aren't as powerful as it could be you don't really have to worry about it too much and with samurai's sheer bulk it is able to sit on the field for a long time and do some good respectable damage in return but if you can get the sword stance up if you can get maybe a screech or a razor shell off to reduce that defense stat and then you terrestrialize you're going to be able to clean this thing up pretty quickly with that break break strategy that we featured in today's video so i hope you've enjoyed today's video let me know what you think on this samurai build and again like i said in yesterday's video i'd love you to leave a comment and let me know what you plan on bringing to this terror raid event when it goes live later this week thank you so much for tuning in friends do drop a like do sub to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye